practicing right now. It's the 24th day of Occupy Wall Street, and we still have a very strong presence here. A very loud community uh, making their message known. Uh, there's been horrendous crimes that have happened in this country so far. There's been an entire robbery of the wealth, something that Thomas Jefferson warned us about 200 years ago. And our country is in turmoil right now. And these people know what's going on. They want to make changes, and they want their message heard. How long do you plan to stay? Until the last subway heads back out to my hotel tonight. <laughs> but I, I'd like to come back here. I got a few days off. Um, and this is, you know, the place to be at. Like, you walk around, you see people holding up signs saying, Why are you watching this from TV? You know, why are you watching this from TV? It's a place to be. It's a place to be. Experience, you know? How long do you think it's going to continue? As long as it needs to. Uh, hopefully, we don't see any intervention from the police in order to end it. For, uh, some um, preemptive strike against the protesters, but uh, I think this could continue well until the winter and even beyond that until some changes are made. I mean, what do you, what do you think? Do you think anything will change? Uh, I think the first strike will definitely come from Wall Street. Um, I mean, it's no secret that our economy has been basically designed with an expiration date. Um, inflation can only go so far as to value the American currency and the American way of um, exchange. And we already have Russia, China, have been talking about dropping the American dollar as the reserve currency. Once that happens, the value of the American dollar will drop significantly to the point where we'll see gas at over $10 a gallon. Uh, commodities will skyrocket and that puts uh, food supply lines in danger of no longer becoming reliable. And there could be some major civil unrest when that happens. What else can you know the average person do besides coming down here? Educate yourself. Educate yourself on how the economy works. Educate yourself on how to grow your own food. Educate yourself on what to do if, if, if the economy fails. If we have to face martial law. Educate yourself on the history of the United States, the real history, and not what they taught you in high school. The history of the Federal Reserve, the history of the banking systems, the history of the British Empire, and how they've been controlling our government since the end of the Civil War. And the uh, elite bloodlines. Uh, educate yourself on who really runs the world, how corporations have already taken over the world. How Facebook is a data collection uh, campaign for the CIA. All these things are widely available online and you can educate yourself for free without a college education that you need to pay for. And this is really the important stuff that people need to be aware of, of how their country really operates and uh, what's going on in their country and what's happening to their tax dollars. Are there other ways to kind of wake people up? Because a lot of people are sort of asleep. I mean, they're, they're going to look at their present situation and realize that eventually they're going to have to wake up to how badly they're getting fucked. And once they start asking questions, asking the right type of questions, like who's behind, you know,